Greetings, everyone. My name is Inigo Montoya. You killed my father. Prepare to die. My wife got me this T-shirt from uh, Seattle, and uh, it's got the line from the Princess Bride. And for those of you who have not seen it, it's one of the world's great movies. But greetings. It's Canada Day today, and I'm very, very pleased to have Cesare with me from Italy. From uh, how do you pronounce it properly? Colonnole. Exit of the second O. Colonnole. I'll let you do it. That's just easy. <laughs> Today's not a good day for me in pronunciations. We're going to talk Italy, and we're going to talk Chianti, not Chianti Classico, but Chianti Rufina. Uh, there are seven zones in Italy uh, for Chianti. Of course, Classico is the most famous, but uh, you need to look at, I always like going to other areas where you can find some really interesting wines and some very good wines. So let's talk about Chianti uh, Rufina. Tell us why, uh, tell us about, well, the region, the wine, why it's not as well known? Yeah, um, my major point would be stating that the Sangiovese is a very difficult varietal and a very flexible varietal that can behave very differently uh, in, in the different zone it is planted. So if you move from the northern part of, uh, uh, of Tuscany where basically we are here in the close to the Apennines mountains and if you move down to Florence and to the south of Florence, to the west, totally different kind of uh, yeah. territories, uh, different altitudes, different kind of soil as well. And the Sangiovese is moving down from the northern part up to Morellino yeah. uh, in Maremma, changing completely the style of the wine and, uh, and uh, the elegance and the more effort, the more energy and things, depending on it. So, we need really to think about the Sangiovese to be a delicate grapes that needs really to be uh, grown with uh, paying attention to each single detail. Now this is the estate? This is our estate. The whole estate or part of the estate? It's just part of the estate. It is the biggest part of it, yeah. So how many hectares is this and how many hectares is the whole estate? Total estate will be 700 hectares and wow. this is the major spot which is around 400 to 420 hectares. Wow. So it will be the central spot where we've been root planting uh, most of our vineyards and then the property climbs up towards the mountain we arrive up to 1000 meters where obviously until now yeah. we don't have planted any vineyard, any olives because it's too high. Too high. All right. Very cool. So it's its, it's, its own little environment, right? <laughs> <laughs> Very cool. So now, look at this Chianti. This is the 2006 uh, Chianti Rufina. Now, look at the color. The color is a translucent. It's not the uh, black, the black color that you see in some yeah. Chiantis. Why? A lot of the big names that you see in the market put Cabernet and Merlot, and it only takes about 5% really to change the color of Sangiovese. Yeah. And this is 90% Sangiovese and 10% Colorino? Colorino. Colorino. So it's got almost a, a Burgundian like color to it. On the nose, it's got a kind of a mineral slate and there's earth mushroom, there's a real, I call it in French, sous bois. What's the, Itali uh, the Italian version of uh, terroir or underbrush? Uh, I might say that uh, the French gave this uh, terroir name that we use it uh, as well because it's probably the most um, uh, let's say uh, complete way right. to represent right. the, the three important uh, let's say um, parameter that influence the wine: the varietal, the territory, and the climate. The right. three things together makes right. it a terroir. terroir. And we don't actually have a real name to support it. We say all together and we call it terroir as well. Perfect. So an international name. So yeah. on the palate, higher acidity to it. It's very vibrant. Um, for those, for for those of us who like sort of fruit forward wines, I don't think this would be the one for them. But if you like yep. classic Italian wines that work well with tomato dishes, meat dishes, risotto, risotto, soup, legume soup, things like this meat. is a deli absolutely stunning. It's delicious wine. I love it. Um, you know what else can what else can you say about Chianti uh, Rufina before we go on to the Reserva? Um, as you were stating, I think that uh, the, the real, his real essence is to be matched with food. So, in an average meal that we have in our territory, uh, that might move from a uh, vegetable soup to risotto to a pasta to white meat, because we have a lot of white meat there, yep. and um, this really stands 
clean. Um, as you were stating, you have uh, some nice uh, uh, herdiness and uh, tannins that are getting ripe. And the climate we have allows to get uh, the, the tannins a little riper and to blend with the nice acidity that gives the wine still there. I think it's great. I would say that yeah. 25 bucks, right? $25 yeah, here. Exactly. I think it's a great I think it's great value and it's a good authentic, authentic representation of what Chianti as a whole, Chianti Rufina, does. Yeah. I think so. Absolutely. You were saying before the, 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 the Pinot Noir. I think that Pinot Noir and Sangiovese are two very difficult varieties. To have good results in Pinot Noir you need really to focus and to be very close to your vineyard. And the uh, same thing on Sangiovese, if you really want to have the best result without uh, making an easier task to blend it with Merlot right. or Cabernet or something else that could uh, way, uh, get it simpler, you need to work on Sangiovese and you need to follow each single step, yeah. which is uh, the density of the vineyard, which is the, 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 say the quantity, the yield per hectare, and the vinification and things in order to get the. the but when it's good, Sangiovese doesn't need anything. Uh, it's, it, it's great. Let's, well, let's move on to the. A reserva. Yeah. That's a reserva. This is a hundred percent Sangiovese. This is a small selection of the best grape we can. Uh, Where is it in the vineyard? In the vineyard for the 2006 has been mainly selected in this upper part here, which okay. is the oldest vineyard that we have been replanted. That means new generation anyhow, yeah. because for 95 we started replanting all the vineyard here. So this one was the first to be replanted in this 95, and so the most of it come from here, and a little bit from the upper part of this uh, Rogaille vineyard, which was becoming is still probably our best Sangiovese at this time. The best clone, the best uh, uh, soil. So up to now is the one we are more confident of. A yeah, little darker in color, yeah, uh, but still not. Like it has Cabernet or Merlot in it. Exactly. Still a little, you know, a little translucent, you know, a little brickish edge around around uh, around the rim of the glass. The nose is far more complex. Ooh, that's really good. Yeah. I think if you move from here to here, yeah. there is a certain uh, consequence in terms of uh, style of uh, aromas, but everything is a little more. There is a little more complexity, a little more color a little more tannins, a little more balance, a little more finesse. But in an elegant way, not in a robust, meaning it's not 14% alcohol, it's yeah. not big and rich and glister, it's it's balanced, it's earth, it's a delicious wine. How much is Greg, how much is this? 30? 44. $44. Yeah. Great bottle of wine uh, that sticks to its traditional roots, not trying to be a Merlot yeah. or a Bordeaux of, of yeah. Rufina. Good point, John. I think that uh, our area, Rufina, we are only 20 producers. It's a small little piece of Tuscany, if you think, yeah. just uh, just 20 producers. And uh, totally together, it's 3 million bottles, if you think about Chianti being 80 million bottles. So it's a very little, tiny valley. So in this area, the wines will, should never compete with the more blockbuster wines that yeah. come from certain parts of the south of, yeah. of Tuscany or even from another part of Italy. We need really to think here about the finesse, about the elegance, about long beating potential. This is the main issue we have in Rufina. We try to develop this one. If we try to compete with the other, we are out of, uh, of yeah. the <coughs> 20, Only 20 producers in Rufina. Wow, yeah. that's cool. Well, anyway, listen, I don't take too much time because people <laughs> Happy Canada Day. Thanks. Happy Canada Day. Cheers. Cheers.